Hi, Bob Freeman here with Marine Max in Naples, Florida. I'm here today to talk to you about Sea Ray's 2014 350 Sundancer. This is a trade that we just got in, and uh, we're getting it all prepped up and ready to ready to go. And the profile of this boat is absolutely gorgeous. You can act, you always know when there's a when there's a Sundancer on the water. You can, it's got a distinct uh, distinct uh, look on it. And back here we've got. Uh, Flush kits, one for each engine. So we've got a flush kit. And then we've got nice storage. Keeping fenders and lines and anything you need to keep out of the uh, cockpit area. You have plenty of room to keep them in the, in the back. And speakers for out there so you can hang out. You've got a large platform back here. So you can put some chairs back here and kind of hang out on the back of the boat. Swim on and off. It does have a ladder that you can come on and off with. So the extended platform absolutely gives you a lot of play area out here to use. So let's uh, let's hop on board and see the rest. Here we are up on board the 350. Let's start at the back of the boat here. We have uh, uh, L-shaped seating, or actually it's pretty much a U-shaped seating. So plenty of room here for uh, for six adults very comfortably. There's plenty of storage under this seat, this seat, and this seat as well. And we have two short table legs and filler cushions that are going here to make this one big sun pad in the back. So great sunning area. You can lounge facing forward or you can lounge facing backwards. So a uh, real nice hangout place to, uh, to catch some sun uh, if that's what you want to do. And if not, they turn into table. A table goes here, so uh, you can lounge or have a table. And on this side, you've got a little galley area. We've got the Kenyan grill, it's an electric grill, it does a fantastic job, it's very little smoke, the burners are all recessed, so the, nothing drips on the burners and that's what makes all the smoke. Goes into the pan below, have a little water down there, it goes right out, so very little smoke when you, uh, when you use this grill, which is great for being on, boat, being on the boat. You've got a sink for washing down, rinsing things off. Speaker, you got a TV that goes right here, plugs in here, so you can sit out here, watch, uh, watch, you know, some local local stations, and uh, and then up here we've got a, an extension on the top. It's like having a hard top, but it's uh, it's canvas, so it's a, you've got a bimini that is not on at the moment, but covers half of the seating in the back, and the other half's in the sun. And when you go further forward, you got two more speakers and lighting up there, and a, and a forward piece as well. And as we move to the in the middle of the boat, you've got a lounging area. You can lounge facing forward or you can lounge facing the rear. Either way, very comfortably, or a couple of seats for people. Um, and then as we move to the helm, one of the neat features on the helm is once I'm in, once I'm in port, uh, instead of just me having to turn around and face backwards, I can just take the seat and join the, and join the club. So you've got plenty of people in it. You've got six or seven comfortable here. Another couple here, a couple more here. So you can have 10 adults very comfortably sitting, enjoying themselves, uh, all, all within talking distance here. Then when I move it back, now we're at the helm. The helm is set up extremely well. Uh, you've got the touchscreen, uh, Ray Marine. It's the nine inch right here, which is plenty, plenty big enough. Remote control for the stereo. Smartcraft, it's called like Vessel View Smartcraft. It'll uh, give you all your temperatures and pressures and fuel burns and everything you're gonna wanna know is in that Smartcraft right there. Uh, then we've got the control pad for the uh, sky hook and the autopilot. So if we're pulling into a marina and we wanna slip a, get a slip assignment, they're gonna give me a port side tie um, and I wanna put my lines and fenders out, all I do is hit this uh, sky hook button right here and it'll hold the boat in about a 10 foot radius and I can comfortably go back, open up the hatch, get my fenders and lines out, walk up along the side of the boat, very, very comfortably, very slowly, just you don't have to be running around the boat, which is always uh, not suggested to do. And then I can have the, when the lines and everything are all set, I come back in, take out the sky hook, and then I just use the joystick, bring myself into the slip, works perfect. It's a really, two really, really great features. The boat will actually go sideways, so if I've got a side tie, it, which I do here, I could just come in, just move it a little bit, and if I have more wind, I can just move it a little bit more, and if I got a lot of wind, I can, I can get a ton of RPM here, and it's gonna bring me sideways right in, and when I go to leave, same thing, coming out, and then off I go. So, 
Love this, Does it gives me 100% control of the boat, one of my favorite features. And the last thing is you've got the auto heading. So what we would do is if I was going to, uh, 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 depending on where I was going, you got a little boat here and you got a line that comes out. So I line the line up to wherever I want to go. And then I just hit the auto, uh, the auto heading button like so, and it will take me directly there. So it takes me in a straight line. I don't have to drive the boats. I'm not sitting here driving. And you actually get there a little sooner and a little less fuel because you go in an exact straight line versus driving like this. And if you saw, you saw your track, it actually would go like this all the way. So it's a very nice feature for the captain. I can sit here and kind of relax and enjoy the conversation a little bit, just keeping an eye on what's going on. But I'm not physically having to drive the boat all the time. So the, the whole system, the three features, the sky hook, the auto heading, and the joystick are just tremendous for... Uh, safety and enjoyment for the captain and it's just a, just good all the way around so spotlight on here all your rockers are right here you, you've got uh they all light up so you've got you've got those very convenient beautiful looking dash so you've got everything that you have in here is going to be up here so you've got redundancy everywhere a couple of drink holders so vhf radio and then lastly you've got the digital throttle and shift and once i put once i use the joystick to come out of the slip all I do is I hit the one lever, I put this one down because now I know I'm not using this one and I use this and this controls both engines, keeps them perfectly in sync all the time and it's a lot easier for me. I don't have to adjust the RPMs to get them to match and just, just much more relaxing as far as, uh, as far as the captain is concerned. But it's best for the engines to keep them perfectly uh, synced with the RPMs. So going forward to the bow, um, we can do that now if we want here. Yeah. Up, up. So you've got a nice large walkway going through here. A lot of times these are not wide um, and you can bump yourself going through but there's you know plenty of room coming through and we have a do we have a large sun pad which will fill this whole piece right here. So two to three adults comfortably out here. It does it, it the backs are adjustable so it's very comfortable. Uh, what I what I would do at the end of the day is I would actually Point the, point the bow at the sunset, hit the sky hook button, and then come out here and relax and enjoy it. And you're pointed at the sunset the entire time before we drop an anchor and the boat would swing one way, it would swing the other, and you're looking off to the side of the boat. Uh, this, you're, you're in the lounge seats, you're pointed at the sunset the whole time, sky hook's keeping you in place, it's beautiful. Uh, you've got a spotlight, you've got a spotlight, you've got the, anchor, the windlass, you've got the touch pad, you can control the windlass from the bow. And I can also control it from the helm as well. So again, plenty of room up in the bow to hang out. There's non-skid throughout the entire bow. So very safe for moving around when you're up on the bow, even if it's wet. And as we make our way back down, we're going to finish up in the salon. Okay, here we down here. We got a very large seating area. Uh, you can put eight adults comfortably here. This is the table. It's an extremely large table for a boat of this size. We have it down into the sleeping mode where you would use the filler cushions, and it makes one very large bed here. Um, you could actually put four people wide in this in this room. You have that much room. But it's right now we've got this is the table. It's a beautiful solid teak table. It's it's gorgeous and uh, so plenty of room for entertaining plenty of room for sleeping and if you are staying on the boat you've got uh, a dual burner stove you get a large refrigerator with a freezer microwave and sink and then storage all down and around here as well and then as we move towards the back of the cabin This is set up for uh, two singles here, which is pretty big, and it also has filler cushions that you can make this a, uh, a double for two adults very, very comfortably. So a couple of kids separate, if you want them separate, adults together, very nice. A little seating, a little getting dressed area right here. We have a, a, a storage, a hanging locker rather, right here, which is, uh, and then, 
So plenty of room in there for hanging uh, dresses and pants and all that. So that's nice. And then lastly, we've got the head. Mirrored door. And you've got a vessel sink and you have a handheld wand uh, that uh, is your shower. So you've got the faucet and a separate wand. And you've got the window. As you can see, the window is actually open so you can get some fresh air in here. So you've got a big window and a smaller one that opens up. Designed beautifully. It's got the vacuum flush head. It's got teak down on the bottom for when you're showering. So you've got the you've got the 350 dancer for 35 foot boat. It has pretty much everything. It has all the toys. Has all the fun stuff. Entertaining down here is incredible. Um, it's a fast boat. Gets up on plane and moves. It does uh, it does everything well. So if you have any uh, questions on it, my name is Bob Freeman. Give me a call at 603. 603- 213-1194.